Hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card I made using the new stamp set Clubhouse and I'm going to be using the golfer. I also used a retired stamp set. Lovely as a tree and we're going to use the oak tree. Background stamp, water colour wash and I'm using itty bitty birthday as I'm going to make it into a birthday card so for the card card stock I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in half I sort of I burnished it but obviously I didn't um I've got a piece of Knight and Navy at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. And I also have a piece of white cardstock at 5 and a half by 3 and 3 quarters. I have some scrap, oh, a white piece at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths for the inside. And I have some scraps for the golfer and the sentiments. Now I have already cut the golfer out and coloured them in but I will do another one with you and I've also cut out the tufts of grass I haven't coloured them in I'll do that online online on camera I've got four here I'm trying to pick them up and I've also cut out the teeny weeny golf balls which I have got on the corner of my tray so we need to colour them in we'll do that when we do the stamping right I have my golfer and I have my memento black and I have yeah, my scrap of card ink that up And we'll stamp him out. I have got the golf club dies, and I use this one, the ball, little balls, and the tufts of grass on this. So there's our golfer. We'll put that to one side to dry. Didn't need that bit. While we work on the background of our stamp. Right, we need a got a scrap piece of paper here to put underneath. And with our watercolour stamp, which is not on here properly. There we are. And I've got Mossy Meadow and, oh no, no, Old Olive and Seaside Spray. And what I do here is I do half in Old Olive. And then half in seaside spray then I stamped it off and then stamped it on the card I didn't do that very well I think I went Oh no. So what I'll do is turn around and just add a bit of blue up there. So that is my background. As you can see we've got the sky and the grass. that 
one side, don't need that anymore, and I don't need that anymore, all of that. Right, what I do need is to stamp the oak tree and I'm going to put the oak tree just there and I'm inking that up in Mossy Meadow. Right, I've just re-inked this Mossy Meadow and I think it's going to be pretty dark. Oh no. You can tell where I've inked it and it's not gone in. Push the ink in. Let's test it now. That's a bit better. So, hmm. no, single. I'm going to put that down there. There we have our oak tree. And clean this down. Right, that's our background done. I'll keep that. All we've got to do is add the golfer and the tufts of grass when we've coloured them in. So I'll put that to one side and bring our golfer back and our grass bits. And get my blends out. Right, we had real red, light, light night and navy. A uh, light petal pink and light black and light grey. Let's make it late. Corner of this is catching on my arm. Stuck it down, and we need old olive and mossy meadow. I'll do these first. So, with the grass, or the tufts of grass, I did two old olive and two mossy meadow. All I did, nothing spectacular, just coloured them in. see meadow ones what I did was I just went over the bits that stick up and old olive and then the body of them Meadow. Uh, 
like that. And then the old olive ones on the tips, I just put a bit of mossy meadow. the grass sorted. Right, put them to one side while we colour in the golfer. Right, for his pants I did light and navy. This I won't go to waste, it can go on a another card. I did his t-shirt in real red His hat was also <coughs> not a navy. His skin is petal pink. Get his neck and his ankles because this golfer hasn't got socks on. His soles of his shoes are grey. And so are the tops. And so is his club. And his hair is so suede. Not quite grey yet. his glove hand, as he's only got a glove on one hand, is black. And that is our um, golfer, nicely coloured in. Oops. 
so it's she who throws her pens all over the place. So, and we bring in our golfer. Oh, I give my golfer a grey hand. But, there he is. I'll put that away for another time. And we'll have him sitting about there. And this tufts of grass sitting at his feet. I think I glued to and put dimensionals on too. So let's get some dimensionals on these. use on the club and I also put one I don't know if one of these will fit the snowball oh, I could use that half yep so let's take these off and place him down there And his golf ball is just here. It's going to go up there. All right, these tufts of grass. Get my glue. Should have actually put that on the base. Never mind. That right, is a bit. I'm going to put this bit there. This bit behind him. And this bit there. Right, I've also got some other balls. And as he's in the rough, there's always balls in the rough. So I'm told. Now I'm going to hide them under the, peeking out from the grass. There they are, I'll just put two on. They do cut out in threes. Right, let's place this. I've still got a sentiment to do. Right, the original one I made as a retirement card. Whereas this one I want to do as a birthday card.
There we have. Oh. Card done. We just need to do some sentiments. Right. Now I have cut out these um, tags which come in the dies. There's two. So I've cut two out and I am going to try and put happy in there and birthday on there. So let's give it a go. And I'm taking the happy birthday from, no, I'm, it might be too big actually. It is. So we'll take it from the actual clubhouse has its happy birthday. And with this I'm going to use my black stamp and write marker. And I'm just going to oh better put it on a block. I'm just gonna colour happy in. stamp that on a small one. I have cut two of each so if I make a mistake I um, can try again. It's not quite in the middle. Let's try another one. Happy. Oh, that's in the middle. And then we'll do birthday. Happy birthday. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do happy again, but use the reverse side. So I'm just flattening down the edges that you get when you um, die cut. Right. So that's the oh, put it to the side again. That's the other one. I'm getting good at this, am I? I'm not getting, I'm not very good at this. That's better. It's in the middle. Then what I'm going to do is stick, stick, um, these on some navy and cut round them like that. I 
working with my big scissors. I'm going to cut that out. scissors we will cut out the flags my happy right done them on some dimensionals. Look at that. Real mess. Bring that back in and are they too big? No. But do on that one. Two on that one. And we're just going to stick that there. This one, I'm going to pop a bit of glue on this bit. Right, the inside we're going to stamp. Um, when have we got it out? because I just remembered about it. Um, the saying, I hope the next year is filled of green fellowies. Always blue skies oh, next year is filled of green and so short that don't make sense. And this one I got the same one. Hope the next year is full of green four ways. I think that's supposed to be felt ways. Blue skies and shot putts. I did a card um, not long ago and it had um, the saying uh, 
best day by par, meaning one of the words they say in golf. Let's use that's fine. Not having much luck today with this card. And it's getting pretty dark. Need to put a light on, I think. That's it. So. another uh, golf card to make. Hopefully by then I would have put the light on and been able to read what that says. So that is today's card. A bit long-winded, I'm sorry. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more on my card, please subscribe. Um, that is dark. Let me put a light. In. That's better. You can see it better now. Sorry about the lighting then. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you subscribe and press the bell notification button, you'll be notified of any um, videos I upload, usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting. I hope to see you again soon.